think we better stop here. Yeah, it don't look like we're going much further. We're getting ready to meet up with a dog musher named Warren. Down here, I guess. Supposedly, he has a more recent encounter with a Bigfoot-type creature that he wants to tell us about. I'm Krusty. Nice to meet you, Krusty. Warren is a true Alaskan. He spends most of his time mushing. He runs his dogs out here 10 to 20 miles a day. Do you race your dogs? No, we don't race them. Um, my brother owns a kennel, 75 to 100 dogs, and oh, um, wow. we get folks come up, stay a couple nights, and I don't know, do a couple loops uh, on the trail with the dogs. Mm -hmm. All the tourists, man, they come up here. I got to ride me a dog sled. Hello. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I hear you had some sort of an encounter out here. It was something. Um, we run this trail all the time, and about a mile and a half down that way. On a day like today, right. you know, the visibility was good. We're making good time cruising down the trail. And uh, Kudo, my lead dog, kind of veered to the right. And all of a sudden, boom, the dogs start freaking out. They just stopped. Yeah. They wanted to get the hell out of there. They wanted to get the hell out of there. I look over to the left of the trail, and I saw a glimpse of an upright figure dart through the bushes okay. off the side of the trail. I grab my camera, grab a quick shot of it, Turn the sled around and haul home. So you got video of those? I have my camera if you guys want to see it. Oh, right yeah, on. Yeah, let's see what you got. It's rare for us to get good evidence like photos or videos. I want to see what the hell he got on camera. Visibility's good, like I said. Yeah, yeah. Dogs are doing good, making good time. Look, they're starting to act yeah, crazy yeah, now. They are. Right there. Right there. There it is. Damn. That sucker's huge. I mean, look at the, the, those trees are 10 feet high, and this thing is, is, is yeah. above them. The moment that I saw Warren's video, it just blew me away how big he was. You know, that it's got to be the Yukon Howler. What do you guys think? Is that consistent with what you've He wasn't hearing? scared of you, that's for At damn all. sure. That's the Yukon Howler. We were lucky Warren was out here filming his dogs that day. It's really unusual to get a good, credible video footage of a Bigfoot. With the winter the way it's been, he's having a hard time getting his normal food, and he's preying on dogs. You know, it's not a big leap to think that he might start preying on humans, too. From what Warren tells us, this creature's habits are changing. He's coming out in the broad daylight. He's showing no fear of humans whatsoever. Warren and the dogs are damn lucky to get out of here alive. Thanks for your help, you guys. As recent as this encounter was, I want to set up right here in this area, along this dog trail. I want to see what we can find out about this creature. We met up with a dog marshal by the name of Warren. He had an encounter with a Bigfoot down this training trail that he uses for his dogs here. This is the spot, guys. Hearing about another encounter that's associated with sled dogs, that leads me to believe this is definitely the Yukon Howler. We want to get down there and have a closer look and see what we can find. Hopefully Howl did OK back there. I've got a secret weapon with me today. Come on, Al. I've got one of my dogs that I take out hunting with me all the time. I'm going to send him out in the brush and let him sniff around a little bit and see what he can see. If there's anything interesting out of the ordinary, he's going to find it. We're going to rig him up with a little video camera and turn him loose out in the brush. Dudley's got a monitor that we can watch at. Live see, footage. See what's going on out there. I want to get Hal turned loose. I'm going to rig him up with a camera, see if he can see any sign of the Yukon Howler. OK, buddy, yeah. you ready to go hunting? Let him go. Go get it. Go get it. Go. Hal's our eyes and ears on the ground. He's got a nose that's 10,000 times better than ours. If he can smell anything out here that's out of the ordinary, he's going to zoom in right on that spot. We can go down there and get a closer look at it. He's down over here someplace. He's on something. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell is that? What is that? And now he's right up on What is that? I don't know what the hell that is. Look at that. What is huh? that? He's going, he's going, look. look. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is that? Oh, hell. Looks like a tarp. Why would it be a tarp way out here? I don't know why it'd be a tarp. We need to go check this out. We need to go find Hal. We do. I didn't expect to see nothing like that Me out either. there. No. Hal has picked up the scent of something. I don't know what it is. We can't tell by looking at the camera. We need to get down there and have a closer look at it and see what the heck that is. He went across the flats, clearly went across those, and then went into the woods. OK. Now let's head up this way, then. I don't see no footprints or nothing. Nah, it's messed up. It's melting so fast. Yeah. 
We're in real thick timber right here. There's a lot of moss on the ground, really can't track. Getting a bad feeling about this. It's almost like we're on somebody else's turf. Holy crap, there's that green tarp that you're saying. Yeah. When we're watching the camera monitor, we saw some sort of plastic or something, a tarp maybe, I don't know what it is. We're coming through the woods and now we see it. We gotta have a closer look. I wonder how old this is. I don't know. Looking around here, there's an old dog sled, there's lanterns, there's some cook pots. Looks to me like it's an abandoned mushers camp. Look where the entrance is. Not here. We're in zone 13 of the Alaska Triangle. And we're going after a Bigfoot known as the Yukon Howler. The Yukon Howler is reported to be anywhere from 8 to 12 feet tall, 800 to 1,000 pounds, and is covered in dark or gray shaggy fur. Oh, here we go. Oh! What do you got? Oh, man! I'd say we got ourselves a nest. Chat pot, buddy. When we pulled that tarp back, it's obvious this is a nest, a den or something. It's been built up with branches and straw and grass and moss. It's obvious some massive creature's been sleeping in here. Never heard anything like this before. No. We're, uh, where it took over a human camp, you know. Hal, hey, buddy. Hey, you bud. Been? He's huh? finding another, he's going through no, there. He's gonna go out and look around. Yeah. I think we need to do that, too. Let's yeah. go out and look around a little bit more. Yeah, let's do that. Something big has been using this thing recently. We need to look outside and see if we can find any hair, any markings on the trees, anything to give us some sort of idea what kind of animal is in here. Face, you see anything? I got nothing over here. Wait a minute. Hey, come here. Come here. What, what you got? got? Something? Look at this. Look at the size of that footprint. Oh, oh damn. Look at that. Toe, toe. There's definitely the That's big toe. toe there. That can be very old. That's a deep impression. Yeah, it looks like he pushed off and went right up through here. We're looking around outside this nest, and all of a sudden, we find one partial footprint. It's obvious to me this creature is big. That nest, or whatever you want to call it, that's fresh. You know, he's hanging right around this area. He's been here really recent. Right. Getting dark real quick. I think now's a good time to get the heck out of here, get back to the truck, and come up with a plan. Yeah. Our secret weapon Hal led us to the right spot. This is definitely being used by the Yukon Howler. Good job, Hal. Yukon Howler, he's been here, he'll be back. We're gonna come back here and do a nighttime hunt. We're gonna get him. <laughs>